that you do for a living. If, even if you have a job in the first place, okay? If you don't have a job, then you're slacking. You're not working already, so that's that's like a problem right there. But what is it, like, well, do you work a nine to five? Do you go to work in the morning, come home in the afternoon? If that's what you do for a living, then you're already slacking as well. You're not where the big dollars are, all right? You ain't getting cheddar, my boy. What is it that you do? Are you a content creator? Do you post videos like myself? Do you try to scrape any bit of ad revenue that you can off the crack of YouTube's ass? If that's what you do, then you're also slacking. You ain't where the big, big money is. Fuck that nigga PewDiePie. He ain't where the cheddar cheese is. I'm gonna give you the information. I'm gonna give you the breakdown right here, right now, my boy. You wanna know where the big bread is? It's in the hacking scene. I'm going to tell you, Nintendo reportedly is paying hackers 20 grand to hack the Nintendo 3DS. That's two, zero, three more zeros after that. In one payment, my boy. Hopefully, you know, we're talking that. When you talk 20 grand, hopefully we're saying after taxes. But I mean, that's still a crazy amount. Just for, the, just for scientific purposes, let's break that down real quick. So we can totally debunk that your job, my job, or any other job equates to the hacking of the Nintendo 3DS for 20 grand per hack. Hopefully, that's the way it goes. Let's, uh, let's see for a second here. So 20 grand, let's say that it'll take you six months of hardcore training to be able to hack the 3DS to the extent to discover the exploit and patch it up for Nintendo, right? So 20 grand divided by those six months of training that you're going to be used to work towards this. So that'll be six, um, that's $3,333 a month, my boy. That's serious money. No matter, I don't give a damn who you are. A three grand check per month? 3.3? That's dollars. But now let's go even further. If you were working like say, if you're trying to treat this like a full-time job in a sense, like full-time hacker, that would be, full-time would be of what, 40 hours a week, and that would be 160 hours a month. So let's divide 3.3 grand by 160 hours a month for full-time. Nigga, that's 20, wait, wait, that's 20 dollars a fucking hour, my boy. 20 an hour, just to hack the Nintendo 3DS? Nigga, I think I need to change my profession. The Nintendo 3DS is getting huge payouts to these hackers, bro. Let's take a look at what this article is saying here, man, because when I first laid eyes on this, Lord knows I had to talk about it. Funnily enough, this is coming from one of the most notorious hackers in the scene. My man Smealum right here, the creator of Ninja Hacks, huge homebrew contributor. This guy is one of the biggest legends you can name off the top of your head if it comes to big hack names. And he says right here, interesting move from Nintendo. They now have a bug bounty. If you're unaware, this is something that a lot of gaming companies and other companies in general usually do to promote them finding ways to patch up exploits or other kinds of hacks that are available on their system. Or not even hacks sometimes, just bugs and crashes and random unwanted variables. They pay these hackers to go in there and tinker with it. Google has one too, and Google be paying out some big bucks too. I mean, these niggas be paying out like 50 grand if you discover something that's serious, so... I'm saying that's where the cheddar is. If we take a look at this, I, I haven't actually looked at this for uh, myself too, but the title alone was just enough to make this so insane in my own head. Like, oh my god, 20 grand per, like, I wonder how it goes. I mean, we know the 3DS is pretty goddamn hacked. I mean, I'm using three hacked 3DSs in this house right now. So, I mean, what? Can I, like, can I, like, learn? Can Smealum, can you teach me? And then I learn how to hack this thing, and then I can show Nintendo, hey, guys, this is how you hack it. And then they, they're like, oh, sure, we'll pay you the money right now. It's obviously not that simple. I'm being a dumbass about this. But, you know, there's, there's still room for jokes. 20 grand. <laughs> 20 grand! Okay, uh, hold on. Nintendo launches a vulnerability reward program for the Nintendo 3DS. So, if it's a program, then they most likely have T to the shit and I don't think it's as easy as showing them online loader hacks and then that's that you have to actually show them a way that they can patch it and other stuff and then when you like already I haven't even read the article yet and I'm going in about this but when you start going into that field it also comes down to community ethics a lot of people won't care because you know they hate hackers in general and any exploits that are used for the 3ds to potentially pirate software are bad and, you know, that's just their stance on it. But a lot of other people in the hacking scene would be like, oh, what about Homebrew and other tools that don't really harm the 3DS or custom firmware um, NTR, which basically allows you to record the screen of the 3DS without having to buy an expensive capture card. It comes down to, I guess, community ethics, morals, and doing the right thing for those who aren't just pirating stuff on the 3DS. It's kind of a touchy subject, man. But anyways, back to the article. So let me, let me make this full screen for you niggas so you can see this. Nintendo's offering an incentive to the world's finest researchers to find and report security vulnerabilities for the Nintendo 3DS family of handheld game systems. 
In coordination with HackerOne, Nintendo will pay up to 20 grand for the discovery, that's 20,000 big ones, my nigga, for the discovery of critical security vulnerabilities. Nintendo is dedicated to providing video game fans with worldwide premium entertainment and a welcoming and secure environment. <laughs> secure my ass, nigga. <laughs> to that end, Nintendo invites highly skilled researchers to find and address vulnerabilities on the Nintendo 3DS handheld system that could jeopardize the environment. Nigga, that environment's been jeopardized for years now. I don't know what y'all talking about. Nintendo is committed to creating a better gameplay experience through all those actions. Okay, so certain conditions apply to the program. So learn full details and reports in Nintendo 3DS. Okay, so here we go. So we have this article. It's telling us basically, yeah, the opportunity is now there. Being realistic, guys, there's no way in hell that regular script kiddies or even lower on the tier, just just fucking leech hackers like myself will be able to ever take advantage of something like this. First off, I wouldn't, just because my stance on the community is it isn't just about piracy, there's a lot of other stuff involved too, but you don't have to share that, of course, I'm not forcing that opinion on you, that's just my, my take on it. However, there's going to be big kahunas in that hacking scene that this deal is going to look kind of tempting to. Smealum, he had his own opinion on this one. And he said himself that, uh, finally, this is kind of an interesting data point, no Wii U bounty, it's only for the Nintendo 3DS. Why care so much about the 3DS so late in its lifespan? And then we see him come up with some other reasoning in his head. He says either a test run for a similar program for future generations, or they plan on reusing 3DS software, or both. We'll see. Kind of interesting, man. They did say that technically the Nintendo Switch is not uh, a sequel to the Nintendo 3DS or to the Wii U. The Wii U is probably dying out. They don't give a fuck about that console. I'm just letting you know. There's so many exploits that can be ran on the Wii U right now, and they don't really patch anything on it. I don't think they've patched anything since the summertime, man. It's kind of crazy. So the Wii U is out of the picture. But maybe because they're trying to get bug reporting on the 3DS so late, it could be because maybe they're trying to reuse this shit for an emulator in the Switch, maybe. Most likely not. Or they're planning on releasing 3DS stuff in the future. It's kind of strange. Smealum said it perfectly here. And then also, he said that he will not be taking this bounty for himself because, you know, community ethics. He's such a huge contributor. Ninja Hacks is great. Um, the homebrew launcher. He, he, he's saying he's, he's, he can't just turn tail on the community and say fuck everybody and then completely go rogue and start doing stuff with Nintendo. Like, first off, I don't even know if they would pay this nigga. They probably try to hit him with a lawsuit or something like that. They probably already tried to hit that nigga with a lawsuit, dog. Like, I'm not even joking. But guys, this is going to be a very enticing deal. Like I said to the other big players in the hacking scene, are there people who are willing to go? to an unperceived length to create this amount of income for themselves at the cost of a community that they use to support. You know that's what Nintendo's trying to do. They got the money out there right now. They're like, come on, you know you want to get it. Just show us how to patch that bullshit that you made on our 3DS before, and you are living large, my boy. I said you needed six months of training to get this, but if you're already a master at hacks and discovering exploits like this, creating exploits, patching up exploits, then you've got a pretty goddamn lucrative future if you're trying to side with Nintendo. It's a little bit of a... F hey, oh man, this is, is kind of spicy. It's kind of controversial. I wonder what niggas are going to do. Anyways, guys, I want to know what your stance is. Now, if you were a hacker with the ability to truly go into the 3DS's innards and exploit everything, show Nintendo the way, would you... And, 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 and not only that, but you actually made a bunch of programs, software, and other assist tools to help the community out to hack their 3DS, to run custom firmware on it. Would you suddenly turn tail and go with Nintendo to make all that big bucks? Or would you stay true? It's not necessarily me trying to make you feel bad, but I'm curious, man. So let me see in the comments. Turn tail or stay true? Which one would you do? I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one. I cannot wait to see the firestorm that's going to be taking place in the comments. Take care.